Today on the table, I brought you the Shield EZ and the RM380. You will see a price split of about $85, the RM380 being about $85 cheaper than the Shield EZ. The RM380 you can get a full grip on. The Shield EZ you can also get a full grip on. Now the RM380 doesn't have any external safeties. The Shield you can get with a flip safety on it, and they all come with a grip safety. Now the grip safety really isn't that intrusive. Right about there. Like very little pressure to make it engage. Probably like a pound, maybe two pounds. So that is kind of nice. Now the Shield EZ does break down a whole lot easier than the RM380. You're just going to flip this lever down, send the slide forward. The RM380 has this pin. You have to line it up and then poke it through on the back side or tap it on your hand. Unfortunately, the RM380, that pin is just held in there with good luck. I mean, you can put grease on the pin and make it harder to come out or like magnetize the pin or something, which definitely decreases the odds of it coming out on accident. But like, say you're a left-handed shooter and you were to rack this and it was canted slightly and you didn't have anything on that pin, it could just drop out in the dirt. And then when you let the slide forward, the weapon disassembles itself. Not cool at all. The RM380 does come with two different magazines. One with an extended base plate for your pinky, and then just a standard one. They are both the same capacity though, six plus one. That's what it'll look like. But that does give you a cool advantage because you can make this firearm just a little bit smaller if you want to conceal carry it. The Shield EZ, it doesn't matter. Even with the magazine out, the firearm isn't changing size. Now the Shield EZ does have a little tab on it to help make, you, make it able for you to load the magazine easier which is kind of cool. The RM380, just the standard magazine. Now the biggest difference between these two firearms, aside from the size, the RM380 is double action only. The Shield EZ is single action only. There's actually just a hammer in here that goes forward. This is basically just the 1911. The overall style of the firearms, I do think they both look good. Just, they hit a home run on both these designs. I really like them a lot. Uh, you can get the RM380 in some different colorations. The Shield EZ are pretty much limited to safety or no safety. You do have an accessory rail on the Shield EZ, so you can put a tack light or something on there if you would like. The RM380, you don't get that option, but it's kind of like the whole design of this firearm. Like, everything's smoothed off. There's very few sharp edges. This would be great for, like, pocket carry, especially with this long of a trigger pull. Like, you could not accidentally pull that. That's just not possible. Now, the shield, ideally, like in a perfect world, what's supposed to happen is you can't accidentally pull this because you have to be gripping the grip safety. And this does also have a loaded flag. On the sights, without a doubt, the shield EZ, far superior. Now, the RM380 is a smaller, lighter firearm, but you do also sacrifice some capacity. The shield you're looking at 8 plus 1, the RM380 you're looking at 6 plus 1. When you purchase the firearms, the Shield EZ is going to come with a cardboard box, extra magazine, gun lock, owner's manual, warranty card, no sticker. The RM380 does come with a nicer box. You get your two different styles of magazines. Firearms lock, owner's manual, no sticker, but the box is kind of cool. It's cut out for the firearm. I do like it a lot better than the shields. Is the box really that important? No, not for these because these are concealed carry firearms and they should be on you, not in a box, not in a gun case, on you. Trigger break. Shield EZ. Breaks pretty good. 
I'm really not seeing any movement in the front sight. RM380. Brakes even better. Now the trigger brake on the RM380 does feel longer. Yeah, the shield's got a nice little wall. And then a snap. The RM380. Much longer trigger pull. It's a lot heavier, but the actual snap of it is cleaner. Now the RM380 is second strike capable. The Shield EZ is not. Now because the Shield has a shorter trigger brake and it's lighter, if I were to take multiple fast shots like as fast as I could just shooting this, I would definitely be more accurate than the RM380 because my fingers just got to travel so much farther. Now for one single shot, like one well-aimed shot, I do think I would be better with the RM380 even though that the sights aren't as good because they're good enough to where I should be able to do the job I want to do. The RM380 does have an ambient mag release, but like I was saying, it doesn't kind of work for a left-handed shooter anyways, because, you know, then you're canted and your pin might fall out. The shield does have a, I shouldn't say that. It looks like it has a convertible mag release and it does have notches on both sides of the magazine and it appears to be the same size. So you should be able to switch this over, but you're losing your controls. Your slide release is on the wrong side, and yes, this is a slide release because it's even got texture on top. And your takedown. This is made for a right-hand shooter, but it could double up as a left-handed gun. This is more of a left-handed gun. You just have to, you know, pay attention to that pin. That's not held in there with retention. That's just held in there with good luck. Again, like I said earlier, you could magnetize it or put grease on it, eliminating that problem, or at least reducing it to where it's not a problem. Controls from your normal shooting position. RM380, very easy to hit the mag release. This is only a slide stop. There's no way to grip this at all. I mean, you can put pressure on it and then pull the, mag the slide back just a little bit, letting it forward. But other than that, just pretty much forget about that. If you're going to do it, just slingshot it, put in your fresh mag, rock it back. Shield EZ. Mag release, very easy to hit. Magazine goes in very nice. Slide release, good to go. Now, the RM380, you probably couldn't rack this off your clothes. Yeah, definitely not going to happen. So, in the event, for whatever reason, one of your hands are injured, you only got the rounds in the magazine. Shield, this does also have a hump on the back sight, so this would also be very difficult to rack off your clothes. But it is doable because the slide is light enough. Now, which one would I purchase? Well, you know, it'll kind of... It's all on what you'd want to use it for. Both of these are incredibly easy to rack. Like, I can't express that enough. The RM380 is slightly harder, but that's just because it's a smaller firearm. Uh, your shield does have a longer barrel, so you are going to get a little bit more velocity, which is kind of cool. It does also have front slide serrations. Are they practical? Probably not. The RM380 the serrations are very nice. They are cut at the proper angle, too. Same with the shield. Now, if I'm going to conceal carry the firearm because it's double action only, it's smaller, it's lighter, I would probably go with the RM380. If I'm going to off body carry it, like I'm a chick and I want to put it in my purse, or I'm a dude and I want to put it in my satchel, you're not really wearing that, are you? Wearing what? The man purse. It's where I keep all my things. I get a lot of compliments on this. Plus, it's not a man purse, it's called a satchel. Then, you know, the, uh, the Shield EZ kind of makes sense. You get more advantages. But making this such a good concealed carry gun, you have to sacrifice those advantages, otherwise it wouldn't be very good at concealed carry. The Shield EZ, especially, like, if you have extremely weak hands, this would probably be a better firearm for you because there's just a little bit more surface area to grab onto to rack it, and it is slightly easier to rack. So that would be my pick. Off body carry, Shield EZ. Concealed carry, RM380.
But thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Leave in the comments below which one you would pick and why.